Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. This week on golf tips, we're going to take you outside. I was outside this week with my student Audrey. You may have seen her in last week's video where we did an indoor lesson checking up on her progress. This week, we went outside to see how she was progressing on the golf course. And we had some interesting results, so it's going to be an interesting video and hopefully you guys will learn some stuff and help you guys out there play better golf. It always amazes me um, going outside with my students onto the golf course just to see how they do outside. I think we work a lot indoors here in the Bay at Golf Tech and we wear the 3D motion and we take a look at the video every lesson, but it doesn't really replicate what it's like when you're out on the golf course. You've got one chance, you've got one ball, it's on the grass. Sometimes the lie is a bit dodgy, below your feet, above your feet, or just sitting badly on the ground. So the course swing does, in my experience, alter to what I see here in the bay. And I think this is why it's so interesting to see you guys when you're outside on the golf course. I know I work with a lot of you guys online. Um, certainly a number of you do send me videos from the golf course, which I think does make a big difference. I think it's very easy sometimes to adapt your swing in a practice environment, whether it's indoors or even sometimes just in a practice swing. Um, but certainly I think it's a valuable lesson to head out onto the golf course and see what you do actually on the grass. Now in the stack and tilt golf swing, the, the first key fundamental is contact and the low point of the golf swing. Now taking out Audrey this week, uh, I'm going to play the swings up here on the screen so you can see them. Um, on the left hand side is the first swing that we took on the first hole and then the one on the right here is the one we did on the fifth hole which was our last hole that we played and we worked on some things during those first few holes just to help her with her contacts and her low points. So we're going to take a look at the th key things that Audrey did to help her play better golf. So on the screen here I've got um, Audrey's original swing on the left and her latest swing here on the right. So the first thing we do is take a look at the changes that we made at setup and this is very important standing here in the bays at Golf Tech I have my grid set up and it's much easier for Audrey and the other students that I teach to be able to um, put the ball in the correct position. So we always talk about the grid and the ball position so if I take a line here just from the, the left shoulder draw that straight down you can see that on the left hand side her ball position here is a lot closer to the tangent point of the grid whereas on the the right hand side here you can see that she's going to catch that ball a little bit earlier in the downswing so not only a downward angle attack but also a rightward path which builds in the draw so it's going to finish off the grid here so you can see you see these in the in the bay and this is just a good visual really to for you guys to look at so on the uh, left hand side here, I'm just going to do this in blue, so you can see the, the ball position just behind the tangent point, whereas now we have it a little bit further back behind that tangent point on the grid. So at this stage, like I said to you, you're going to hit downwards more and more out to the right. So already at setup here, I've built in more of a draw and also help with the contact. You'll see in her original golf swing here how as she hits through impact here, her club kind of misses the ground, she thins it as she comes through and you can see how much her arms bend. And now this is something we've worked on in the bay, but it's very different once you put yourself outside on the golf course. And I appreciate a lot of you guys out there practicing, working on your swing. It's very different once you do get out onto the golf course. And this is why it's important that if you can video your swing on the golf course, and I find it very valuable to go out with my students to take a look at what they do on the golf course. So you can see the difference in the arms coming through here. Okay, so I'm just gonna, it's gonna take away the grid. Uh, just give you guys a little bit of clear review here. But if we take it back to pretty much the impact positions here, you can see um, on the left hand side, which is her original swing on that first hole, the club hardly touches the ground. I don't think it even touches the ground. Uh, and you can see the arms are flexing as they come through. Whereas on the right hand side here, you can see clearly she hits into the ground. And you can see the difference of her arms are in the finished position. So the first thing we talked about there was the setup position, just moving that behind the left shoulder, just building in more of a draw, but also um, a more potential rightward path. Now, now we're going to discuss the things that we did to help her improve her contact and actually get that low point a lot closer to the ball and actually be able to hit the ground, which is such an important part of playing good golf. So on the left hand side here, this is the original swing. Uh, this was on hole one. Uh, the video on the right there is hole five. So. We adapted pretty quickly and I think that's great using the stack and tilt system as we've identified the problem. This is something that we've worked on in the base here at Golf Tech, but it's important that you recognize these things on the golf course and be able to change them. And this is an important part of you guys developing as well, is being able to recognize the faults that 
you do on the golf course, which might be a bit different to what you do in your practice sessions on the range or indoors. Now, in the swing here, on the left-hand side, slightly longer. We've worked a little bit on trying to keep these arms straight, but the big difference was as we come through impact. So if we stop it, just P7.5 here. There's a big difference here. On the right-hand side, she's moved her hips more through this line. And the arms obviously are a lot straighter, they're not perfect, but so much better than the one on the left-hand side. Now, this is something that Audrey has struggled with and it gets highlighted a lot more when she's out on the golf course. She doesn't quite move her hips far enough forward and starts flexing the arms. And this is one of the biggest issues that leads to thinning and topping. It's a question that gets asked on my channel at least once a week is, I'll keep my weight forward, I'm tilting, but I'm still topping the golf ball, what am I doing? And this is probably one of the most common reasons. You're bending your arms, you're pulling the club away from the ground, you're pulling the radius of the golf swing away, it makes it a lot harder to strike the ground and hit the ball consistently in the middle of the face. So in a second, we're gonna talk about the instruction I gave Audrey to help her improve her golf swing here. But certainly, as we wind this on a couple of frames, again, you can just see how the difference in the hip movement through the yellow line at the front there She's moving her weight better as we continue here into the finish. You can see her swing is a little bit shorter on the right-hand side compared to the one on the left-hand side. She's maintaining a bit more right tilt as well in the right-hand side, and it's just overall a bit shorter. Now, bear in mind, um, this, these two swings here were only a few holes apart, right? This is a big change that we made, um, but it's really just bringing back to feelings that we've worked on in the bay that we can quickly give to her out on the golf course to help her improve her golf. First thing we discussed there in Audrey's setup was the ball position. So you can see I've got my grid set up here. So this would be my standard ball position to hit a push draw. So the ball position is behind my left shoulder. And when it's behind my left shoulder, I'm gonna be able to hit downwards and slightly from in to out. The further back you have the ball, the easier it is to hit down on the ball, uh, the more likely you are to swing out to the right as well. Now, when Audrey had that ball position a little bit further forward, although it was still behind the left shoulder, it was making it a little bit harder for her to move her low point in front of the golf ball. So if you are struggling with contact, just moving it back slightly can really help. Certainly, you don't want to move it too far back, but certainly moving it back can help with just hitting downwards and swinging out to the right. More importantly, we had to identify the bigger issue in Audrey's swing, which was the fact that she wasn't moving her hips forward enough and she was flexing her arms. And using the second tilt system, working on that first key fundamental, which is the contact and the low point control, this was easy for me to identify pretty quickly, just looking on the video and being able to explain to her as she can see it as well. Like I said, this is things that we've worked on in the bay here at Golf Tech. After taking a look at the swing, we could see that coming through impact, even though she started to move her hips forward, her arms were starting to flex here. And then she kind of lost her tilt in the finish. So after analyzing the swing and explaining to Audrey, we got back some feels that we had used in the bay. So I took away the golf ball and we did a few practice swings. And this is quite important. We, I got her to put the golf ball in line with her club and said to her, as you swing, I want you to stop here. And when you stop here, you need to push your hips forward, try and get 90% of your weight on the left side, try and get, see the right foot banked inwards, and try and keep your arms straight. Moving the weight forward, keeping the arms straight, much easier to hit that ground in front of the golf ball. So we did a lot of practice swings on the grass, just trying to identify low point. And that's very important, I think, when you're out on the golf course, and for someone like Audrey, maybe she only goes out once a week, if she's lucky, so she hits a lot of shots indoors. It's, sometimes it's hard to recognize where the club's hit in the ground, and being able to appreciate how important that is when you're out on the golf course. That's why it's fundamental number one in the stack and tilt system. So practice swings, normal backswing, hips forward, arms straight. So basically, it's got to plenty of reps, and once she could hit the ground in front of the golf ball, then we gave her a golf ball for her to hit. Same drill, so normalish backswing, hips forward, arms straight. So when you do that, you have to make sure you move your right shoulder downwards, make sure your hips are forward, you tilt your shoulders. And being able to stop here gives you a reference point, gives you something to check. Make sure when you finish the golf swing that you keep these arms straight. Now, in the video that we took a couple of holes later, that was her trying to replicate that feeling, but just trying to hit a little bit harder. And I think that's 
kind of what I'd expect on the golf course. It's very difficult to stand there, especially when you're outside and she was actually hitting that shot over um, a little river. So she had to hit pretty good distance with a nine iron there. So she still had to hit a pretty good shot, but I just still did the same feeling. But as she went through, trying to make sure she pushes her hips forward, keeps her arms straight. So that feeling kind of adapted a little bit on the golf course and you can see on the finish there, the finish was a little bit shorter than where she was in her original golf swing. And I think that is a really key lesson for you guys to learn. If you're top in, thin in the golf ball, this is one of the best drills that you could ever use. So normal backswing, hit hard, stop quickly, push your hips forward and keep your arms straight. If you can do plenty of reps, just trying to replicate that feeling, it should make a big difference if you're topping or thinning the golf ball. So I wanted to show you guys that important lesson. I think sometimes you can think you're doing the right things in practice and you can be, but it's sometimes very different when you get out on the golf course. And it's amazing how different sometimes um, some golfers that I teach are from the range to the golf course. So just be aware, when you're practicing, you probably still need to keep doing more. If you can video your swing when you're out on the golf course, I think that really helps you give yourself some feedback. So that's my favorite drill to work on if you're topping the golf ball. Make sure you get your weight forward, make sure you keep your arms straight, make sure you tilt your right shoulder down, make sure you hit the ground. I think that's so important. Plenty of practice swings, just practicing hitting the ground and measuring where you hit the ground is very important. When we're out in the golf course there with Audrey, I didn't let her hit a shot until she controlled that low point at least three times in a row in her practice swing because if you can't do that with a practice swing, you'll really struggle with a golf ball. So. Thanks for watching golfers, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again next week for another video.